Hello, Model Railroad fans. Welcome to Vintage Road and Rail. Uh, in today's video, I uh, thought we would uh, do a you know do a haul video. It's been a good while since I've uh, done one. I haven't been buying as much as I had when I really kind of first got into this. Uh, uh, probably makes my wife happy that I'm not spending as much money, but <laughs> but uh, you know I got a lot of train stuff for Christmas, which we'll go over. And I picked up a few things beforehand. So basically what this will be is kind of a Christmas haul and maybe the last couple of three months, you know, uh, some things that I picked up, you know, the last couple of three months of the year. Uh, and you'll notice that most of this is going to be train sets because that's what I've actually been kind of collecting um, and really, really uh, purchasing. Uh, and there's a reason for that, and that's something I will get into probably a few months down the road. But um, anyway, let's uh, kind of get to it. So I thought I would start with the things that I got for Christmas gifts. Uh, and all of this here um, is uh, stuff for Christmas. And then I have a few things off over here to the right of the left, of, I'm sorry, the left of the camera that you can't see. So uh, let's get started. All right, so first thing. Uh, this is from one of my daughters. She uh, got me this uh, Atherin Blue Box kit here. It's already put together. Um, and then just for, if you're wondering what made her think to get that, I peeked into my uh, eBay account and saw what I was in my watch list. So that's where some of these things came from. So anyway, so we've got that. So let me set that off to the side here. I'm in my kitchen, so you may hear me kind of stomping around as I move over. Uh, and this is something my wife got me. She got me a set of these uh, Toy Story covered hoppers by IHC. In the box and everything, all, all looking good. So those go great with my Toy Story train set. And another thing my wife picked up for me is this slot car set. Now, I know this doesn't really have much to do with model railroading, but uh, I do have an interest in slot cars. I just don't have space for slot cars. Uh, in fact, when I was eight years old, I used to have an old uh, Tyco slot car set. But unfortunately, I can't remember for the life of me what it was, just that I had it. Um, but what's interesting about slot cars like the ones you would get from Tyco or Lifelike they say they're HO scale well not really if you've ever looked at one of the cars they look more about the size of Hot Wheels which is about 1 64th scale give or take but this is called micro slot racing and it is actually 1 87th scale or true HO scale uh, in fact if you look down here the world's smallest slot race, 187 sports cars, and there's two of them. And if you kind of can look closer, you can see these little pegs. It's actually compatible with Legos. So, uh, yeah, so she got me this, so uh, I'm really looking forward to trying that out. Uh, and I'll, I'll actually do a video on that. I know it's not, it's not necessarily train related, but hey, how many of us growing up in the 70s and 80s had both trains and slot cars. I bet you you all did. All right, so let me set this off to the side here. All right, and I've got two daughters, so I'm not really specifying who gave what. Uh, but this is also something from my daughter. One of my daughters. This is a A and B F7 set by Atherin, and it's in Diet Coke. New in the box, and looks really good. Not a lot to see on it. But I'm looking forward to uh, giving that a good run. And you'll see in a little bit why, why she picked this up. So we've got that. All right. So that was my youngest daughter. I've got twins, so she's the youngest by a minute. Uh, in fact, just to specify, uh, that hopper car, the yellow one, and that AB set was from my youngest daughter. 
so this one is from my oldest again by a whole minute and we have got Mantua Toy Express HO train set so I'll just kind of lift it up here so I believe that's a GP20 let's see yes it is uh, GP20 diesel engine it says it's got a can motor operating headlight and tested for true performance and then we've got a tank car we got it looks like a reefer we got a flat car with some crates and we got a box car and we got a Santa caboose so again this was uh, given to me by my oldest daughter for Christmas and I'm gonna go and say right now that my family went all out on me for Christmas so they, I, I was almost brought to tears on a couple of them all right and I mentioned that I have a Toy Story train set and my wife got me something to go with that well my oldest daughter also got me the Toy Story 2 train set so you can see the caboose and then we've got a, a buzz car here and we've got the characters in the cones so and there's our locomotive looks really good all right so this is the last gift that we're about to look at that came from my youngest daughter and this is the one where she really I, I have no idea what these kids and my wife spent but I, I know they really went all out and we really went all out for each other on Christmas we we always do because honestly it's just the four of us we don't really have much else in the way of family so this is an Athern train set GE still sealed in the box that my youngest daughter got me so we'll lift it up here and you can see we've got a GE genuine parts locomotive we got a flat car with a truck trailer on top we got our caboose tank car and then we've got a box car so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this out and running it uh, it's just unfortunate with my basement issues I have not been able to do so but that will be resolved very soon in fact the video after this one will cover that just a little bit I've already recorded it but I just wanted to put this one out first all right now under here is the last of my Christmas gifts and then off, I still have a few others that I bought myself. We can call them Christmas gifts to myself, if you will. But this is something, uh, this last train set and this one that's under here, these two really just almost brought me to tears when I saw what my kids had done for me. My whole family, really, but this was, it was just really special. Um, I don't know what she paid for it. She said she got the seller down on the price, and I sure hope so. But let's uh, reveal it, shall we? And let's come off the tripod so we can get a good look. This is a Bachman All American Traveling Daredevil Thrill Show train set. And it's almost a combination of that. And the hot hot wheels racing you know with the with the little hot wheels track uh, you can see how that they've got the loop here so it's a train and stunt car playset complete ready to run easy to assemble so it comes with this 41 inch by 76 inch decorated platform with track lock system which I'm not real sure what that is uh, so if anybody has any idea let me know in the comments and so we've got uh, loop the loop stunts action. We got high speed banked curves. And then we got exciting drag strip action. Twin wheelies with braking chute and automatic winner's flag. And then we got the train itself. This looks like to be probably an F7. That's what it looks like to me. It may be something else. I'm not 100% sure. And then we've got the box car and we got a flat car that holds three of the uh, of the little racing cars and we got the caboose and it it's hanging on for dear life 
but it is still in the original package so this is 100 percent complete and that's what makes this and that other train set the ge one so special is they were sealed still never run and in a specialist set like this, it's hard to find it 100% complete. Still in the box, nothing missing. I don't know when I will get to being able to actually unbox this and run it. Because when I do, I want to be able to do it right. I want to be able to set the whole board up and everything. Alright, so let's go back on the tripod here. Apologize while I fumble around. I could stop it, but that just means more editing for me. All right, so I'm going to lay this back over it. It wasn't so much, my daughter says, are you trying to hide it? And I said, no, by having this blanket over it, it kind of makes sure that no one accidentally tears that plastic. It's already got a few tears from age, and I want to leave it on there as long as possible. All right, so we still have... A few more train sets to go and these are things that I've picked up uh, a couple of them in November December maybe October November and December so I know this one we're looking at right now I just got and I was going to do a video on it already but I had to do some repairs and it's a uh, Bachman mainstream uh, Main Street Express train set so we'll lift this off so we can just get a look at it. It's complete. Comes with that power supply. An oval of track, or a uh, circle of track, sorry. And we've got the caboose, a hopper car. And this is what's interesting about the set, the Main Street Express box car. And we got our F7 locomotive. So I had to replace on the caboose this little piece um, and so basically what I wound up doing is just swapping out the whole bottom with uh, another caboose and then pretty much the same thing with this box car it was missing and I knew it was missing it but it was missing a truck and so I just swapped the bottom out with another one uh, because this one shouldn't have screws so anyway so that's the Main Street Express and there will be a video on that at some point in the near future so let's set that to the side and this is going to be still sealed in the box an Atherin Coca-Cola train set so we got our Coca-Cola F7 locomotive 50 foot box car bay window caboose tank car and then we've got our flat car with a trailer or an intermodal car whatever you want to call it now I didn't bring them up uh, because they're in a box when I had to clear a lot of the stuff out of my uh, train room but I have two more of these coca-cola flat cars with trailer truck uh, but they're different uh, the trailer is different or the car is different they are part of a collector series, if I'm not mistaken. And that's why my daughter got the the other AB set, is because I've been kind of picking up some of these Coca-Cola trains. All right, so we're down to the last three. Now, if you've watched classic model trains, uh, Ron did a really good video about rebuilding a Thunderbolt Express train set and he had mentioned some of the ones that were also made uh, under the Thunderbolt Express and this one let's just come off the tripod I think we can do without this now so this is the Thunderbolt Express and it's got the same GP40-2 or whatever it is locomotive Looks closer to a Dash 2 than a regular GP40, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, but it's all Hostess Wonder Bread. So you can see we got the Wonder Bread boxcar. We got the Hostess Caboose. And then we got, what is that? 
more Wonder Bread, but in a tank car. And then we got Hostess Twinkies for the uh, box car, or I'm not box car, uh, hopper car. And it comes with a figure eight of track and this operating gate. And that seems to be a pretty standard layout for these Thunderbolt Expresses. They'll have that figure eight of track with this crossing gate. This style of locomotive, being a GP40-2, with this style of caboose. And it'll seem to always have one box car. But these other two cars can vary. And you will see what I mean in just a second. So, this one Ron didn't mention, uh, not this specific one, but he did mention that there is a Coca-Cola set for the Thunderbolt Express, and when I picked this one up, I realized it was actually a little bit different. So you can see we got the same thing here, and we've got the Burlington boxcar, and in this case, we got the tank car, but here we have a gondola. Uh, but what this makes what makes this a Coca-Cola set is our GP40-2 says enjoy Coke on the side and then Diet Coke on the uh, caboose. So it is now my goal to track down as many different variations of these as I can. Uh, it's an obsession. <laughs> All right, and we're getting pretty long into this haul video. So let's take a look at our last train set. And these are all Mahano. And this one is going to be IHC. And it is Big Y Freedom Express train set. So we have got our Alco C628 and this is a good running locomotive. I've got a few of these. This is the same locomotive that was with that Elvis Presley train set I got a while back that I did a video on. So we got our 50 foot box car. We got a flat car with containers and we got a nice Coca-Cola tank car. And then we've got another 50 foot box car. This one's Kool-Aid and what's that? Uh, is that Friendly's? what it looks like to me uh, correct me if I'm wrong ice cream and then we've got this world classics Italian uh, caboose uh, this one's still sealed uh, so was the hostess but the coca-cola one had not been so anyway so that is a look at what um, I got for Christmas and a few things I picked up you know through October November and December so if you enjoyed taking a look at these uh, train sets that I picked up, uh, make sure and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, uh, because at some point in time, these will be featured in the video. So if you want to see them, absolutely hit that subscribe button. All right, well, Model Railroad fans, thank you very much for joining me today. Happy Model Railroading, guys. Take care.